here as well. I, I was very fortunate when I was young in that we had Longside Youth Club. Yeah. Longside Youth Club, they, they were black, white, brown, no one saw themselves like that, by the way. Um, in fact, uh, my sister, uh, 30 years later, married my best friend, who's white, uh, who, you know, went to Longside Youth Club with me, so my best friend then married my sister. And so people didn't look at each other that way. They didn't even hoot. I think things, things have really changed, haven't they? And I think we all agree that we, we need to create a live and let live society. And I think it has been live and let live, as far back as I can remember. But in, in the last several years, something's, something's changed. Alex, did with you say? Yes, yeah, so um, I wouldn't kind of put forward with what Ben was saying before, because, yeah, I've, I mean, I'll have to get a bit political as well, myself, because in. Um, I'm, uh, in uh, the local Labour, Labour branch and we've been having some discussions about putting on uh, an event here to talk about media, democracy and ownership and you know, how to kind of um, set up some, uh, and, and fight for a, um, a media system that is accountable and does, you know, uh, where, where you're not allowed to just spread fake news and, and where social media are actually like have regulations around what they're allowed on, online because I mean I don't, you know, I, I think with education it might help, but when, when you've got these such big powerful companies, you, I don't think education is on its own is going to fix it. It's trying to um, take back uh, and have some control over what's going, what, what information that's actually being spread out there and stopping all this information. And that's my problem with that fear is that, let, you know, brains can need to people to do what we tell them now, let them go. It's that fear that this powerful yeah. forces behind what's going yeah. on. But that fear, I, I, I think that fear can be tackled with, with positivity. And just touching on something that Robert said about the Manchester, you know, the, the, the sad event that happened at the Arena bombing, it was just shocking. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm Muslim, you know, and that, I mean, I remember watching that unfold on the news, you know, thinking it was going to be like a speaker that's burst, and maybe a bit of piping that's fallen off. And then the realisation that me and my son sat there gone midnight, shall we go out and help and stay here? And my son actually said, we might actually get arrested. And I thought, I don't want to live in a situation where there's been an incident and we want to go and help, but we didn't go to help because of a fear of possibly, because this is, this is casual wear. I do, I do have a white one of these and a full white girl, do you know what I mean? But I, I'm proud of being a Mancunian and a British and equally proud of being a Muslim, you know. The, 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 for me it's all the same, I don't see color, I don't see anything, you know. And it, uh, for me it's, it's live, live and let live, I, I get on with everyone. And we, me and my wife, we went to the vigils, you know, with the, with, uh, afterwards. Um, and I remember standing there with, with a couple of friends, we were stood around at St Anne's Square, and a, a big burly lad, you know, the typical, I'm going to generalise, typical sort of thing, a big lad, bald head, white guy, comes walking over. I'm moving the crowd and he comes walking over. And in my mind I'm thinking, oh, here we go. But, I, but in my mind I'm thinking, do you know what? It's fine. If he's going to do something, you know, just allow it because of what's happened. You know, I'm sticking the blame and taking it personally. So the guy can't come through the, the crowd of, of us that were standing there, put his hand out. I shook his hand and I was took my head my because I'm expecting something else, but then something else happened and I was just totally like thrown, like, what's going on here? He shook my hand and then he said he said, My family member was killed. Take the video. And and I'm not blaming you for your community. I, did, I couldn't say a word. I was really emotional, I couldn't say anything. I just hugged him. He hugged me, I hugged him. Okay. And we just held one another. Probably about 30 seconds. Big bird, I couldn't even get my hands around him. Do you know, I remember it so clear. And, and, and then he went. Do you want to say hello? And just, even my friends that stood around me were just like, say hello to the microphone. I was just humbled beyond words. And that, that for me, I was already kind of in a, in a change mode and wanting to change things. But that brought it home to me how hard I personally as a Mancunian, as a British citizen, as a Muslim, and all of those in time, how hard I have to work to make things, you know, right. 
It is a responsibility. And some people might say, oh no, it's not your fault, you're not, but I can't help but take it personally. <coughs> Yeah. I think, um, from my perspective, I think we are, this, this mentality is in the majority, the majority of people feel this way, but the, the unfortunate thing is it is so, so easy to describe beautiful things, it's, um, and you only need a, a small, you only need a small, you know, a small implement to, you know, chop down a tree, for example. Then, and that's the, and that's the thing. Really. It's about, um, it's about, yeah. And it's not being comfortable with where we are. You know, if that makes sense, we need to be vigilant all the time and call out hate when you see it. And so, so where, where do we go? I mean, we've we've talked, and we've mentioned, we've we've all sort of connected. We're all on the same on the same sort of, you know, wavelength, where do we go from here? What would, you, what would we like to happen from this? I think some of the things about the, the, the fear, uh, people talk about the fear, and the, the people have found, found ground down over the years, like, oh, um, and the, the thought of the cuts and, and all this sort of thing that affect people's lives directly. But I think there's also a frustration there that, now, I have very strong views on Brexit, but one of them...